All right, in this video, we're going to look at our uh, thread specification handout and uh, show you a little bit about how to use it. So uh, it's straight from the Machinery Handbook, 28th edition. They're a little further than that now. But as you can see uh, on these pages, uh, we have the different threads. And remember, any thread below a quarter inch is going to be designated by a number. There is no such thing as like an eighth inch thread, a a uh, 3 16th it's going to be a number so once we get up to quarter inch then we have fractional sizes so let's just say that we have a thread here uh, we have a let's see there's a half inch 20 right there it's a very common half inch 20 to a fit there's the class of fit there's the allowance th uh, one and a half one and three tenths uh, thousandths and the major diameter is a little bit different than the nominal size. The nominal size is the half inch, 0 0.500. But the major diameter is going to be a little bit under just for clearance. So the major diameter can be anywhere from 0 0.4987 uh, to 0 0.4906, anywhere in that range, because we don't want a really sharp thread. And then we see the pitch diameter over here. So we have half 20 to a fit. We go over to the pitch diameter, and I'm having a hard time seeing it. I don't have my glasses on, but we see the pitch diameter, 0.4662 to 0.4619. That's the size we're going to use for the micrometer measurement with a thread mic over the threads. So if we use the thread mic for the half 20 to a fit, we should get anywhere between 462 if we round this to 466. Okay, and then if we go one uh, column further, we see that's that's the minor diameter. This is for external thread on the left, um, internal threads on the right. So this will be more for the advanced classes over here. Okay, so a half 20 to a fit, major diameter, pitch diameter with a thread mic, and minor diameter. That's actually the size of the groove minus about five or ten thousandths for clearance. So it's 439 thousandths. Okay, so let's take a look at one more, or maybe a couple more, just to make sure we're okay with it. Uh, on this page, uh, 1729, we have a three-quarter ten. That's a very common thread. Uh, we look for maybe a one. Remember, one is loose, two is medium, three is tight. A is external thread. Okay, remember that? So we have a two-A fit. That's kind of what you would find at Tractor Supply. A one-A fit is going to be like a wing nut. You can turn with your fingers. A 3A fit's going to be tight, like on an aircraft or something like that. So 2A fit's what we usually use. So the major diameter of a 3 quarter 10 looks like we're going to have 748 and 2 tenths, 735 and 3 tenths. That's the major diameter. Nominal size is 750. Then we go over to the pitch diameter with our mics. We have our thread mics with the proper anvil and spindle in them, or we use a stirrup mic that's already the right pitch. And the pitch should be anywhere from... 0.6832 pitch diameter to 0.6773 minor diameter 0.6291 okay see how we get that and then if we look uh maybe we'll look at one more mm, let's see what we have here we have a 7814 unified national fine there's unified national unified national special unified national course unified national extra fines that's how these are designated Okay, so if we have a 7, 8, 7, 8, uh, 14, 2 a fit, our major diameter is not going to be 875. It's going to be 873 and 4 tenths down to 863 and 1 tenth. Um, the pitch diameter with a thread mic will be 827 down to 821 and 6 tenths. That's what the thread mic should read right there. And then the minor diameter will be 688, 4 tenths minus about 5 or 10 for clear. Okay, so that's how we read this section right here, and it's very important to know how to read that because every project you're going to make with threads, you're going to be using this. We don't have ring gauges, uh, snap gauges. We don't have anything like that. We're going to use thread mics, okay? So we're going to use this one, two, three, fourth column over from our threads, okay? If you have questions, as always, give me a text or a call, uh, an email, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you, and have a good day.